This is a beautiful collection of fine jewelry designed by this gentleman here, Matthew Campbell Lorenza. Uh, it really is worldwide, around the world, but this collection is exclusively designed for us, using the same techniques he uses in, in his couture pieces, using the same attention to detail and craftsmanship, and take a look at this one here. So I just gave you a peek at this one at the top of the hour, and it's no surprise, my girls love the drama. You fell in love with it. You've got the dramatic contradiction there of that black rhodium accenting, and then you've got that bright pop of crimson in the beautiful piece here. Uh, I like the contradiction of the darker dramatic colors, but then that soft, delicate, lacy design. Right. Tell me about this one. This one also, by the way, is on four flex for this day only, and I have 23 to go around. Well, this particular piece was inspired by Art Deco sculptures. I don't know if you have seen these beautiful sculptures of uh, mostly flappers who are there dancing and they have ivory faces and ivory hands, quite famous in many, many museums. Mm -hmm. uh, this particular d sculptor always used beautiful snowflake and star designs, which I translated into this piece. Yes. Um, because of the fact that the flappers were very Fantastic. Fantastic. They were, they were, they were, you know, free spirited. They were rebelling from the Astur Victorian time periods. Sure. This piece, I was trying to explain the same thing. Yeah. So. You know, you can absolutely see it. But you know what? Historically, you think about it, what was going on during that time period? Women were being liberated. So what? We had earned the right to vote. We were we were starting to really break out of our shell. We chopped our hair off and we started exploring fashion. Right. Clothing designs changed. You stopped, you know, went much more free. It went much more um, loose fitting and more exciting. Um, and this is my interpretation of that. Yeah, really, really beautiful. So again, that dramatic color palette, the drama and the intensity of that beautiful black spinel. And then you've got those beautiful cherry garnets, uh, absolutely across almost four carats of garnet, uh, almost a whole carat of black spinel. So a total carat weight here of 4.6. Um, I like how all of your styles kind of, they dance dangerously close to each other. So mm -hmm. you can see a little influence of Art Victorian perhaps with the color palette, but then it goes into Art Nouveau and it's very delicate still and lacy. So I really like what you did here. Thank you. I'd like also, to get in that brain of yours and figure and, and see uh, what you're crafting soon of your next collection. Well, we'll get a chance of that soon. Uh, <laughs> this chain also is extendable, so it does have an extender, so you can wear it at different lengths, um, which is very important if you want to wear that with a more formal outfit or if you mm -hmm. want to put on with a t-shirt and jeans, which I think would be awesome. Yes. In fact, a, a quick little story here. Actually, Matthew wanted our Angie. He was like, well. I thought she was just going to be casual today. And I said, Matthew, come on. We're celebrating the holidays. Our girls at home want to be decked out for the holiday season. But I, I love that you said that. You know, this is the designer. And he's saying, well, this is how the rock stars wear it. This is how the pop stars wear it. They throw it on. It's meant to be worn. Don't put this away. Yeah. And like I said earlier, being a designer, it's my job to make something. And the rest, like 80% of getting the piece done and designed is my job. The other 20% of getting that is for that person to turn it into their own personal expression. Right. So what a treasure today. Interpret it as you will. It looks like a beautiful ribbon. Uh, it looks like a beautiful piece of antique lace. It really is gorgeous. The quality of that garnet, and Andre, if we can come in really close, because I'm going to hold it really still for you. I promise to be a good girl. Uh, I want you to see the quality of that garnet, because that's another thing. A lot of time, the garnet you, we see out there, it almost looks black, Matthew. It, it gets it inky, right? right. What are these? These really pop. We spent a very, very long time sourcing this. Um, it was very difficult to find matched pieces that had this vibrance and this beautiful red color to trans. Yeah, it lucency. Really. You it. can see it. Yeah, it looks like a little drop of light inside, or yeah. almost like it wants to be a little. Uh, golden inside, right? A little drop of sunshine. Um, 15 inches in the length here. It does have the three inch extender, as you heard Matthew explain. All stamped sterling silver. Black rhodium finish is, a, is another expensive process to do, right? It's not a cheap process no. to, to finish in that member of the platinum family. Um, and then you've got, let me tell you the carat weights here, because right. you've got the total 4.6, so really impressive. Well, the black rhodium also is really interesting because you never will have to polish this. We made up black for you. I like so. that. So easy. It's yeah. going to look this awesome always. Uh, I like, too, that you never really see a bale 
I like that design, that, what you do. So it's almost like the pendant is floating. See, mm -hmm. it's integrated onto the chain. I really like that detail. So four flex uh, for this day only, appraised at close to $1,000. So modestly appraised at $990. Um, that, that's got a little bit of rock and roll in it. That's got a little bit of edge. It's definitely so feminine and pretty. It's a ribbon design or a snowflake or it's just gorgeous. And look at the prongs, you can see them there. So hand, prong, hand pulled prongs, hand chiseled, no epoxies ever, no glue, just